as you can tell from our outfit and the fact that you're not seated on a couch so yeah. here we are all about fitness we i am working out on top of another workout for sandy jana so my body is clean let's on get that jihaga for the nice last one Yeah. Yeah. Well <laughs> Hi guys, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to another episode of Mommy Daughter Conversations. Sure. <laughs> sure. But we have an exciting episode today as you can tell from our outfit and the fact that you're not seated on a couch and we have a guest right mumbos yes none other than trumbos mumbos <laughs> yes so today on set ni steph mama, mama steph na steph, steph. yeah <laughs> lot ni mama stephanie on yes. set hi steph Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Karibu sana. Karibu sana. We Asante have been sana. looking forward to this episode. I know. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Thanks so, for having me. So please introduce yourself. My name is Stephanie or Fitness by Stephanie. That's what people call me yes. online everywhere. Hata <laughs> kwa Google. And even from the name we get to Fitness by Steph. Steph. Yeah. So today yeah. we are all about fitness. And I'll tell you why in this particular episode. So, Mimi kama mama Steph. Yes, I have mama. Yes. <laughs> yes, I have been trying to keep active for a while now, for some years now. Uh since actively since 2018. That is the first time I joined the gym and I was very consistent. Yeah. Nilikuwa gym for 8 good months. Well in done. 2018. Good job. Nilienda gym for by the time tulikuwa namaliza ilikuwa mafika mahali mpaka jacket hazi natembea natembea hivi sasa mimi zilikuwa zimeingia and then after 2018 we moved yeah so when we moved mahali penye tulienda kuishi boy there was no gym but i still we still well i still i decided i still need to do something mm. fitness si lazima tikwe kwa gym exactly but you only keep in fit by when you're going to the gym yeah so after kuhama kwenye uh, tulihamia there's a very big compound na iko na tulilima like this una panda then there's a flat to milima so i started conti- I, i started i continued sorry i continued with my fitness journey but as i said kwani oh naenda walk eh. oh nakimbia kidogo it wasn't as it was intense when i was in the gym 2018 yeah. but i still needed to do something and i have done that until now this year when i went back to the gym so this daughter of mine miss mumbus yes <laughs> When we say children learn through observation and I'm sure you can agree with me. Yeah. Uh cuz ya kuniona over time working out alianza hata yeye. Like mm-hmm. when we are going out for a walk or a run with the dad unaona anakuja na to join. Si tutafanya 10 laps. Yeye atafanya mbili. He? Aseme that's enough. Anataka snack. Yeah. <laughs> Aseme hey mom, I want to go to I want to go and susu. Akiingia kwa nyumba atarudi tena. Ni sasa hivyo dad kwa anatuambia is it true? That's true. <laughs> yeah, but over time yeah. she's um uh become very curious yeah. about fitness. So I thought why not have this conversation? Exactly. And why not have it with someone who's a professional in that area? Yes. That one when we are talking now about fitness and teenagers. Mm. What are we talking about? Ina maanisha nini? Are they allowed to work out? Wanaenda gym, fitness yao ina kana mtangazi. Yes, of mm. course. Yes. yes. Do you have a question for Steph? No. <laughs> Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Not okay, yet. Mm. So my first question um Steph yeah. would be Is it important for our teenagers to keep fit? Absolutely. 100%. Mm-hmm. Um research shows us that we are in a generation where childhood obesity is a pandemic as yes. well now. Yes. I saw that. Yeah. You've seen that? The yes. statistics are scary. Mm-hmm. Because in our generation I don't remember as many overweight children as we have now that's true and that's because of access to to kona snacks say to kona do ya kubai ma snacks hey, to kona kila kitu my na hata <coughs> tunaweza waitishia pizza kama wako kwa nyumba exactly yeah, yeah, yeah or like they have smartphones and they can order for themselves mm-hmm. they are watching telly the whole time so mm-hmm. we have a big problem with childhood obesity mm-hmm. right now um and it's running through young children from the even infant stage 
up what? to yes the large percentage is actually children below the age of 10 exactly <laughs> we are seeing that even from birth because of mm. the inactivity of the mother mm. so an inactive mother mm. unfortunately probably deliver a child who's overweight wow so it starts from there so we are seeing a very big problem over the years mm. now by the time they get into teenage if they were not active wakiwa wa watoto nitakuwa hard to start mm. also they don't have examples to emulate that's unfortunate na nita attack watu wengi acha sasa ni bayane disclaimer but just as you started the introduction ukasema mm. she has observed you and the dad exercising yeah. for years now she has a desire to do it you didn't need to tell her amka no. uvae workout gear mm-hmm. u train nimesikia kusema hizo viatu ni zake imagine imagine na ni zako sio ni zangu because there's something you're doing <laughs> that she <laughs> is aspiring to do just like you are yeah, yeah. so we are seeing a lot of children struggling with obesity mm. we are also seeing mental health issues because children are idle if they're not watching telly they're in school mama they are on their phones yeah. and now they have phones tabs Tablets, laptops yeah uh, wako mm-hmm. na games sisi tulikuwa na bed none of the above na possibly bike hizo ndio vitu tulikuwa nazo either mko nje ama mko kwa home na kula ama ni homework ama mmelala mm. we were never seated tv i'm china was a crime tv baby when you were growing up TV ilikuwa mpaka inafungwa na padlock. So yes. ni kama na mama yeah. 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 na fungia na padlock. Yes, na nakuja jioni anagusa kama ni moto. Eh, asikie kama ni moto. Ajue kama mliwasha mchana. Oh, so hakuna yeah, kuwasha TV mchana. Mm-hmm. But now our kids even mine, like my children will wake up and the first thing they want is to turn on the telly. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately also we are living in areas where we are in high rise buildings mm-hmm. and uh, apartments that don't have space. So children don't also have developers are not putting spaces for children. Yeah. Uh, people have grabbed land for play mm-hmm. playgrounds zime grabiwa hata za mashule we grew up in schools that had fields asubuhi mlikuwa mnachapa lab yeah i was in a school where sports was not optional tamia mm-hmm. sports day everybody alikuwa na sign register amekimbia two laps asubuhi two laps lunch time yeah unaandikwa by thursday games day kama uko umekimbia mm-hmm. utakimbia hizo zako zote in one lesson mm-hmm. Swimming was not optional. Squeeze you at you and as I say my miss this kick swim. I hope see ya. Na jua see ya actually. See ya. Mastef. Sina wela na tufanyia. Mastef. Hebu continue. Acha sana ku show Mastef where wana swim so please swim. Okay. Yeah, but she's a very good. So yes, children should exercise <laughs> and uh, the recommendation is at least one hour. And for them it's not moderate intensity. Mm. They talk about high intensity exercise for children. Mm and especially for teenagers. Ah. So one hour of high intensity every day. Yeah, you. Okay. And I like to look at it as a parent, mm. I like to look at it in the analogy of an investment. Mm. You guys are putting some financial investments for her. Yeah. So that akifika age ya kujisimamia if she wants capital for her business there's something yeah if she gets to a point where she wants to go to university abroad and it's more expensive than here you have a fund where you can withdraw that money and educate her sio yeah. kuna hizo vitu tunaweka aside kama ni shule tunalipanga school fees watu endagi kwambia teacher hii tam hata soma mimi ni nimesota kiasi zi unaenda kujitetea soma some utaleta pesa sio yes, yes. so we are making an investment in their finances in their education mm-hmm. in their health care sisi sikia mzazi akisema hataenda hosi ataponea kwa nyumba mm-hmm. ah, ah. Yeah. why are we not making an investment in their health if this child is not healthy in the next 10 years yeah. you will have a very big burden and so will she that's true so i like to look at it as an investment an active child is an investment in their health in the years that are coming yeah. the reason why us guys are like this at our age mm-hmm. wanashanga hata wanasema the women in their 30s are not aging that's what they umesikia <laughs> <laughs> Nao kuna majenzi wako very offended. Tukisema kama mimi I just turned 37. Mm-hmm. Mtu anaangalia na kaivyo 37 wapi? Mm-hmm. Mtu wako wa kwanza ako na 10 years. Mm-hmm. Tunatoshana sasa hii yeah. karibu hapa. But because of being active when I was young, I was very sporty when I was young mm-hmm. and then getting into fitness very early. Mm-hmm. That was an investment in my health that my parents made. It meant my there kwa pool saa to na gazeti. Yeah. Anasoma mtu anasoma swim. na mimi na swim. Mm-hmm ama competitions i used to compete my dad akwa hapo na stopwatch <laughs> race kianza ta so ata yako na anza to the whole investment financially yeah. it's a, it will cost you some money for your child to be active mm. 
and also just making sure they're also nourishing their body. Mm -hmm. So it's an investment in their health. I wish we could invest in their fitness now. They will reap the benefits in their older age. So yes, the answer is absolutely yes. One hour at least per day, mm. high intensity. They don't have to go to the gym. Mm. Um, I don't even think these guys have time to go to the gym. You can tell me when the gym. Maybe now that you've closed school. Exactly. Right? So when she's closed, she can go. Yeah. She can tag along with you. And uh, now we are seeing gyms also having programs for children over the holidays. Mm. So like there's a swimming club going on this week. There'll be two weeks of swimming club. There'll be two weeks of basketball, something. And I wish we could increase yeah. that. When you took Kuna, little Einsteins and these STEM yes. things, yeah. we need some sporting camps for them when they have closed. Mm. Um, also, now, because she can't go to the gym during the rest of the term, mm. invest in a bicycle. You have a bike? No, but I'm planning on getting one. You do have a bike. You see where planning. You bike kuna machine. But you can't get one. <laughs> no, I gave up on it because it's a fix. So Yes. Because of other Thank issues. Thank you. Not you are here. You are here. So when you it can be the two of you. Where my boyfriend took me a bike. So she can have a bike. Get out. Get out and play. I know, especially teenagers now, who are so funky. I want to play. I want to play. I want to play. But play is one of the best ways for young people to keep active. Even older people need to play. That's true. To nenda kutolea watu ma stress kwa Instagram na kwa social media. Aki. Badala wenda tu nika mna ball hapa, tu chape ball 10 minutes, kila mtu atatua stress. Stress inaisha. So even for you, as you are in school, I think that was one of the best things that I think I benefited from through sports when I was younger. Because mi si kwa ikuwa na stress. Toto kwa na exams, ay, ya ina mambo. Mi nitaenda tizi ya lafu nika mni some. So my mind is clear. So you can keep active, walk. The other thing we are doing to our children that was never done to us. You know, when us guys, our parents were walking, we will kona baby amadi kila kitu. Yeah, na baby took a handbag. Sisi, kababaka kishuka kwa school bus na baby a bag. Kila kitu. Water bottle. Kido kwa wea mnyia um baby. Aizi ata tembe ya. Ata kwa supermarket. Push the trolley, carry the basket. Mm. Let her carry the basket. Those are simple ways to exercise. Mm. Don't deny yourself that. Nisi kwenye akiste ever kwa super na trolley kwa kapak na mkatembili na mazi watatu. I am really fighting that thing. Na unatu watu wazima tu hivi na katrolli. Iko na vitu tatu. Beba, beba shopping bag, carry those things. Yeah. So let her carry stuff mm. up the house. Let her cut, do stuff around the house, and I'm sure she is, because she's a very responsible young lady. She is, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. so, so keep active around things you can do in the house. Yeah. Walk around, go for a walk with your friends. As guys used to walk a lot. Mm. I don't know whether you remember that. Yes. Mtaani, just as I'm mwezi ya TV. Madhana sema, keni kwa nyumba yangu. And then you can jump So we would walk in the estate with friends. Of course, you need to tell your parents who you're walking with and where mm. you're going. Mm. Yeah, take a walk, come back. But one hour a day at least of intense activity. And that now that is the responsibility of parents mm. as well as the school. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of school, almost there's some. Um, what do you do in school to keep uh, active? <coughs> <laughs> I do, we do pee. We have pee mm -hmm. uh, for like thirty minutes. Yeah. How often? Like how many times in a week? Like three times a week. Mm -hmm. And then oh, plus swimming four times. But I also do basketball as a club. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's it. So you try. <laughs> yes. Yes. And every once in a while, I, I that one I've seen from home. She has a group of girls. I yes. Think go around and do a bit of walking. Mm. Mm. Yes. So, um, my next question would be, mm -hmm. actually speaking, before I ask the next, the next question, speaking of health, yes. there is, I think, mm -hmm. there is social media, there is this statement, um, it's somebody who is actually, I can't remember the name, and I think you can your health, and I say, let's say, health is wealth. Okay, it's so true. 100%. Let me tell you, Mumbus, without your health, 
but there kuna kitu unaweza fanya kwa yeye there is nothing you can do in this life mm. like if you fell sick today then there is absolutely nothing imagine if i fell sick today like sindi kazi sindi nini sindi nini like everything else we are here chasing all the money we are chasing in this life in a mama so health ndio number mm. because i think we also we talk about with, with children and especially now with teenagers yeah. the ones yeah teenagers from uh late in primary school up to high school we are busy talking about what they want to do for the rest of their life yes but for you to do what you want to do for the rest of your life your health must it's be in check and mm-hmm. you must be physically true. able to do it yeah so if you're not unwell you should be keeping active in one form or another mm-hmm. yeah uh Steph, is there a connection between food and fitness 100% mm-hmm. <laughs> um we mm. need to nourish the food is fuel mm. that's the easiest way to describe it mm. food is fuel it's for nourishing the body to allow you to do the activities of the day mm. and for the body to carry out the various functions your brain your eyes your heart your lungs pumping blood that kind of stuff yeah now we are seeing of course there's a change in how we are eating now versus mm. how we eat a long time ago yeah because of conveniences a lot of people squeeze to napenda my snacks Uh, vibaya and also <laughs> most <laughs> let me speak now as a parent most parents are culprits of bribing their children with bitu za kukula mtamu acha tu niseme sisi tumezoea hiyo unajua ule mse ali develop is na kinaitwa tamu mse ni mjanja sana juu tulikuwa tunabeba tamu kila jioni ukienda home kupelekea mtoto so you we made our children used to having snacks in the house we stock them in the house we don't stock as many healthy options as we should. Mm. So in terms of nutrition, the younger somebody is, mm. the more nutritious their food needs to be. Because these mm. are the foundational layers mm. of yeah. your health. Also, the quantity of food that they are eating at this point in time, you can't quite measure that because they are growing. So people grow from age 0 to 22. Yeah. So from 0 to 22 they should be getting in as many calories as they feel they should. A child who is hungry let them eat mm. but make sure that they are eating well but they are also keeping active yeah. so if a child who is growing is over consuming food mm. and then they are inactive that's where the obesity is coming from mm. so kazi ni kukula una dish unasikia nje kuzaa so usikia nje faster than us i'm a say the next two weeks to have a perfect we are about to buy tuko karibu ku buy maziwa sasa mara tatu venye tuna bangi tunangoja tu wafungue shule warudi wakakulia huko because when they close you can you can feel the difference they wake up they have breakfast saa nne wanasikia nje saa sita wanasikia nje saa nane wanataka snack so what you need to do as a parent is avail healthy and nutrition nutritious options yeah. of food mm. so breakfast should have all their meals should have protein mm. if you can do that make sure every meal has protein mm. breakfast lunch and dinner and then the snacks in between because children will snack whether you like it or not yeah. hata ukiwaambia wasikule snack wataenda kwa jirani watauliza umekunywa chai atasema mm hata kunye huko kwa jirani so avail healthy snacks yeah. so a lot of fruits mm. and you can do an experiment as a parent just lay fruits don't snack the junk food mm. yeah and the what you know english there who seems to eat snacks for like 3 4 days yeah. and avail healthier options mm. salads chopped veggies mm. carrots celery sticks whatever with dips hummus yeah. peanut butter and apples mm. is a good snack uh, granola some oats do you eat oats no uh, but i eat granola you eat granola mm. is on oats so oats granola whatever they like yeah um bananas apples pineapples just stock them place them somewhere someone can see because mm. every time a child is hungry they go where kitchen ile mm. wanaona eh, wana 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 wana. so the, if the first thing they are seeing is cookies mm. then you have nobody to blame yeah. if they are adding weight and becoming unhealthy mm-hmm. so there is a connection uh, offer nutritious food don't always offer the same things that children like children given a chance will just eat spaghetti and rice the whole week yeah. and chips yeah. and then the day they don't want those three they want pizza that's true. throw in some gideri there wakona meno yako wakona meno yako tafu na by the way yeah. Yeah. <laughs> throw in gideri throw in ndomas and gwashes for breakfast mm. uh throw in brown rice all yeah. that my children eat brown rice including my 2 year old 
because he doesn't know anything different. Yeah. He knows we eat white and we also eat brown. And like so adults who I know, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I have adults who say they can't eat brown rice in Onjaka soil. Um, to do anything different. So what you avail is what they'll get used to. Yeah. So if you avail a whole cabinet of snacks, don't that blame them. Eat. You can't blame them mm. uh, for eating unhealthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we mentioned uh, that our kids, it is a must to keep fit. Hundred percent. So when, when, what is the earliest age a kid should start? You know, doing some form of uh, fitness. Um. I don't know whether we have an age, mm. but in, 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 in societies that are a bit progressed than us, where children are, go to the gym, yeah. people go with their kids to the gym from as early as two years. Oh, I have seen that. You've seen that, yeah? Social media. Yes, yeah. where I am training and I'm doing my session. You've seen my son on Instagram. Yes, we as I, yeah, dumbbells. Yeah, I lift oh, my dumbbells, he so lifts easy. his pink yeah. ones. Please, yeah. mother, most are pink. <laughs> they are for the children. Yeah. <laughs> so, Children can start coming with you to the gym mm. when they are safe. Yeah. When it is safe for them to come because mm. gym, the gym is a very hazardous kind of space yeah. because of equipment. Mm. But once a child is aware, so from age two, three, the moment they start going to school, let me put it that way, maybe from the moment they start going to school, yeah. play group, whatever, mm. they can accompany you to the gym. And if parents uh, insisted, mm that I would like to come with my children. Let me tell you, these facilities would create activities for That's the children. True. Oh, that is so true. They just that need one so soccer true. coach, and you tell me, Ati, when on Saturday when you guys are doing a session, mm-hmm. kids can be playing soccer. My friend, I will bring even my neighbor's kids. <laughs> just know, so that they are busy for a few hours. So yes. any time from the time they are safe, three to four, five. But now for children who are aware of what they are doing, like her mm-hmm. and the teenagers, mm-hmm. teenagers can start strength training any time from 13 years. Mm-hmm. There's a research that used to say, that kids should not lift weights because it stunts their bone development and they don't grow tall. Mm. <laughs> but there has been no evidence to prove it. Mm-hmm. So it's not true. Yeah. Because you can go to your bodybuilders, you can get snatch by age six. You can get a snatch by age six. Oh my yes. God. Yes, because you can get a snatch by age six. Bodybuilding is not a good thing. You can get a snatch by age six. You can get so from any uh, from the age of 13 which is like now for her for Mombos, yes. yes 13 she can start lifting weights mm-hmm. of course she won't do as heavy as those who have been a bit more experienced yeah. but the benefit is that she can progress so quickly mm-hmm. by the time she's my age i wish i discovered the gym but the, at our in our time there weren't many gyms yeah. and our parents weren't going to the gym mm-hmm. our parents were just active and wakivuna uh, maindi pia tulikuwa tunaenda so that was our weights eh bas si tulikuwa tuna inoi zo vitu that was it was equivalent to strength training mm-hmm. so any time from teenage a child can start strength training but sporting activities can start from kindergarten so that's one of the best ways to keep fit for children yeah. sports mm-hmm. and sports also builds the child's confidence yeah nilikuuliza alia ushaiona mtu wa sports akichokozwa hapana because there's a discipline that is there from exerting the body mm. and fitness is proven or exercise is proven to improve your mental strength yeah. so if you start playing a sport mm. because it's very gruesome yeah. training i'm sure for you nimesikia akisema PE three times swimming four times i love basketball he was like hi apana that is too much <laughs> But she's able to handle yeah, it, and I'm yeah. sure it's playing a role in how she's able to study, mm. uh, how she relates with you guys. There's a mental space that it puts her in yeah. that she's able to handle so many more things than mm. others. Good. So I'm now thinking. Yeah. When you talk about fitness for our children, yeah. is there a reason? Like, could there ever be a reason mm-hmm. that a child cannot work out? I haven't seen one. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't come across it mm-hmm. in, in, in my career. Not yet. Um, I think sometimes parents are the ones who are a bit overbearing. Mm-hmm. And also, we grew up in a time where um, everything was graded. Mm-hmm. You were number one, or you even used to say, Yeah, last time you were number last. Mm-hmm. Now, them, they are not being graded mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. So, we, we are the ones with the competitiveness mm-hmm. when we put our child in a sport. You want them to go for nationals. Yes. 
So that's where you see they are not doing very well in basketball watch and imtoa ya ende swimming mm. maybe ataweza huko mm. no expose your child to as many sports yeah. as possible mm. there is a sports academy in Nairobi now that is exposing children between age 4 and 10 they play six sports they play mm. rugby and it's both boys and girls yeah. rugby mm. soccer tennis swimming badminton there's one other in athletics mm. they are doing six mm. then by age 10 they narrow down to three by age 13 14 they pick two or one mm. which they can now confidently compete in yeah same way we do subjects mm. by the time you're going to uni for for theory you're doing very few you're specializing yeah. so same thing with sports i haven't seen any um i know we are having there's a rise in things like asthma mm-hmm. asthmatic people should actually exercise yeah. it helps them manage the asthma better especially for cardio cycling running swimming um uh, whatever else uh, boxing is high intensity they can yeah. do so as parents let us not be very overbearing mm. and if your child comes and says mi leo nani alinishinda nikachekelewa nini nini hiyo ndio nafanya ngao watu waseme i don't want to go back me there there's a day my daughter came home and told me anatoka scouts kwa sababu teacher alimwambia ana match funny Ni ile mambo utamati fani mpaka tamiishe mpaka umatch vizuri you have to learn how to do it so it's learning a skill any sport you get into you're learning a skill and every different sport swimming has different rules basketball has different rules let them get in let them get exposed as many as you can do and um, and as many as you can afford even during the holiday Mm. Yeah. and there's nothing like too much activity for never them. i have never there's seen nothing like that at hey yes if i you ni mingi sana me am a perfect example mm. the only sport i didn't play is basketball mm. with my height yeah. imagine yeah. that's the only one i didn't play hiyo ndio nilikuwa naona watu wa basketball wanakuwa na hasira mingi sana sitaki na mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa na hasira that time so nilikuwa naona nikienda kwa hiyo court na chapa mtu yeah lakini nyang'anya ball nitamweka coffee so i would never played basketball but i used to watch but i ran both athletic short long distance i did cross country i played um uh, volleyball netball up to uni mm-hmm. swimming i ran uh, i did short put i did javelin i did discus i did triple jump i would tell my mom i'm thinking of joining gymnastics eh yeah, enda mm-hmm. fanya fanya mm-hmm. at next week tunaenda karate class yeah okay <laughs> and my dad was the one of the best people in terms of he learned swimming at an older age mm. so he was sure that's the one thing he doesn't want anyone to learn late because mm. he learned in uni yeah so all of us were in the swimming pool by nine months nine months yeah so by age three i had competed my first competition what but i've seen the benefits of that because mumbu started swimming when she was three exactly and now she's oh my god in and it sets such a fish. good foundation let yeah. me also mention for girls mm especially the teenagers um sports builds their confidence mm. i was not one of the hot girls in school acha tuniseme sikwa wale watima boys wana ulizaniaje mimi nilikuwa kama ma boys na gotewa na wale wengine but because i was in sports that is not that thing never bothered me ever and even as i developed i know there's a confidence issue that comes and your esteem can take a blow when your bust is developing your hips you started your period you start mm-hmm. becoming a bit sensitive towards sports an active child is able to handle that better yeah can children swim during their period yeah mm-hmm. can you play sports yes but of course now we are aware of extreme pain during cramps and stuff like that mm-hmm. so we know how to manage it but the more active somebody is yeah. the better you are able to handle even your menstrual cycle mm-hmm. yeah that's true that's mm-hmm. very true that's really needed to hear more Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why do you have any other Because you people are had? people are short of saying I have <laughs> it's that time of the month. Mm. Every time they spin, mm. they swimming, there's basketball. It's very easy to get into that cycle. Yes. And say leo na umma na mgongo teacher mm. says he swim now. It is that time. It is time. that time. <laughs> Imagine in my school there was a ki, ki diary. Mm-hmm. You could only mark red once in a month. <laughs> the other three times you had to swim yeah and now we have options mm. we have the menstrual cup you can swim with it mm. we have tampons you can swim with those sisi hizo zibitu watu kwa nazo na tukwata tunajua yeah 
it's very interesting when you say that because it happens and even to us like exactly like i've seen people yeah. in the gym when it's that time of the month there is just a particular group of people that disappear yeah <laughs> yeah but because and i actually started reading about it yes because mimi does not matter ni day one ni day three mimi gym itaenda and you see for you you've gotten there because of how you are responding and your perspective yes. towards it yes. yes there is an energy change Kabisa. you will feel on you the, actually never do the you same can't do the same workout you you're tired yeah. you're feeling like if it's the ovulation period you're bloated yes. yeah mm. so you're very uncomfortable so you scale down the workout some unafanya kitu light ama unasema leo si ngi gym naenda kuoka exactly ama naenda swim kesho cuz nasikia mwili imeshikana so you can change it up during that time we that one i really needed to hear man mm. why kai me during these times mm-hmm. you feel I'm like my energy levels are no coaching me. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do anything. Stuck him trying to shake it. I don't want to move. <laughs> I feel fragile. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and also I'm scared. Maybe like I might like move weirdly and then you miss. Yeah. 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 So me mm-hmm. Yeah. So as as uh, Steph has put it, uh, at, during that particular period, you can do maybe less of what you normally do on a normal day so mm-hmm. kama kawaida una inaga unakimbia you just need to decide okay today i'm just going to walk mm-hmm. sindio yeah take a short walk nini but you can still do something it doesn't mean that it's just a hey umekuwa boy mobile boy ni ugonjwa it's not a sindio yeah so now here's the, another big question hapa ndio unajua sasa tulisema tutaanza kusubuana hapa na wazazi what disclaimer. yes disclaimer what yeah. is our role because we have said Yeah. that kids learn through observation. Yeah. But they ile kitu uh it's very kidogo things that kids learn by listening to what you are telling them to do. Yeah. Mostly it's by observation. They see what you're doing and then they do the same. Sindio? So what is our role as parents when it comes to fitness in our children? I'll throw it first to her mm. before we even before I even answer that. Mm. Why do you Why do you tag along with your parents to exercise? It looks fun. It looks fun. <laughs> it looks fun. Wakirudi, wakitoka wanakuangaje? Like after the exercise. Eh. Hey. Hey. Wakienda asubuhi how are they? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Wako tu very Wako chill. chill. Eh, hey. hey. wakirudi, uh, you know. Eh, hey. wakirudi. Mm. I'm normally in school when you guys come back. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so what 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 about them exercising looks fun to you? Okay, bila dadie na kanga kana struggle. I'm like I'm like I surely it can't be wow. that hard. It's a yeah. problem that I'm making you want to. Hey, I'm like ah let me just prove you all wrong first. Exactly. Okay, dadie. Ana teseka huko. I take I real. Ana ka and I do sweat. Ana ka kama ana teseka. Ana sweating yeah ni ngozi na jamba. What yeah. else? What else? What has made you want to come with us to the gym? Because Juzu Mbija umeenda na sisi gym. For for daddy, mm. I've seen the change. As in kifo imeanza kuiza at the very man and I think he also knows it because nowadays I just see him ana flex tu ana flex kila bali anaweza kuwa ana lala tu na mka na jamii yake dogo tu na lala. I see the change man that's that's very mm. Not a high, high, high hope. so even when I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah it is I something wanna, you aspire to yes mm. you would like some of that mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so the role that parents are play mm. in raising children as you've said mm. children emulate us more than they listen to us that's true I have so many parents who ask me how do I make my child eat vegetables and I'm like leave your child alone yeah. let's deal with you with you, you are not eating your vegetables because yeah. if you ate them and they were available in the house if they saw you coming out these days we are working from home yeah. if they saw you get out of your office or wherever you work from mm. come to the kitchen and grab an apple they would do the same thing that's so true but if they see you come and put juice and crisps and sit They and then the netflix until go to bed yes. <laughs> they will do the exact same thing so we play a very big role mm-hmm. parents who are active have been researched and we have seen that their children lead a more active life 
up to old age. Mm. My parents are very active to date. My parents are in their 70s. Yeah. And uh, now they're even working out. What? Imagine, now they've started strength training. They've started, uh, they're doing a dance. My, my dad is doing a dance class. What? <laughs> Imagine. What? <laughs> and wow. I, they, I can't wait for them to tag with the, I'll ask the coach if they can go with their grandkids. Because yeah. all of those people now have grandkids mm -hmm. they can tag along mm -hmm. with. So because of seeing my parents being active, my dad learned to swim when he was in his 20s. Yeah. So when he was swimming and we wanted to do what he was doing, diving from a boat, just the way she said, mm. we wanted to do that. So parents play a very big role. We cannot teach something we are not doing. Yeah. You can't take somebody somewhere you've never gone. Mm. And true. the <laughs> best part is when our children can see the effects, as she's saying, mm. now there's a change. Mm. And even the confidence. Mm. And if you guys can achieve it, there's nothing that seems impossible to a child. Yeah. Unless you teach them that it is impossible. So if they can see your body looking a certain way at your age and you're their mother, and always come and may get very proud when my people say, your brother has come to pick you up. I'm like, <laughs> my brother, that's my dad. Yeah. Because my dad used to drop me at work some days. Mm. And when he comes to pick me up, mm. we security guard at the time, and he said, my brother is coming. He said, not my brother. Mm. So even just looking a certain way and being confident, children aspire to look how we look. I mean, You've become your mother and so have I. <laughs> Cindy, me, I've yeah. become my mother. Mm. Exactly how she was. Yeah. Even when I used to laugh at it when I was young, mm. now I have become her. So there's something you're doing, right, mm. that she wants, and that's why she's doing it. And that's why she's tagging a lot, voluntarily. You mm. didn't tell her? No. You didn't mm. tell her. So she will naturally see the habits around her and pick those up. Mm. So let's create. We need to yeah. have something that they can emulate. Mm. So as as it starts with us. Now, what are Dio. some of these exercises that we can do? Okay, so today I want to do just a few. Mm -hmm. We'll do a few strength exercises, uh, legs, and we'll we'll attempt a push up. We. Hey. Yo yo. We are going to do an attempt. We are going to do. Ah ah. We are going to do an attempt. I have said we will attempt. Attempt. I'll attempt. Okay. show you how we can do it. Yeah. Not necessarily down on the floor. Mm. We can do it a different way to just teach you how to start. Okay. And then build it up. Mm. I didn't carry any weights today. Yeah. Because most of us don't have weights. Mm. But we can do something with your body weight. Mm. Whatever you weigh, you can use that. Mm. Squats, lunges. I'll also show her a few stretches she can do because these guys are seated do you know children are seated the entire day yes in, in class, class. Mm. And and they're they're 30 minutes. exactly mm. yeah. so they may need to stretch just the way we do after our workout yeah so i'll show a few stretches and then we will play mm. okay <laughs> so my dad and i make it very hard what you've got <laughs> so play is another thing that children should do play 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 mm. it keeps them active and we can use that as an exercise awesome Let's get to the exercises. Hiya, exercise number one. Are we ready? Hiya, we can start with a squat. Mm -hmm. Simple. We use a squat every time when you're sitting down and coming up from a chair. That is, we use that. I don't get a loo in a squat every mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So, squats is one of the fundamental moves of an exercise. So, when do you call shorts? You work out Eh, to ambi, how many do you do? I guess we do one and a half squats. Ah, eh, when is a funny moja? I am working out on top of another workout as I did Jana, so my body is screaming. What exactly, but yeah, that was yesterday's one hour. Yeah. Yeah. This yes. is yes. today's yes. one hour. Yes. Yes. Hey, let's go. Very simply, put your legs same width as the uh, your hips. That some of us have very wide hips. Wait. Yeah. Yes, like that. <laughs> and then sit back. And then come back up. Okay. Tracy too. Ah, I'm doing good. Today. Hey, in the 1900s. <laughs> in the 1900s. Yeah. So, so how many are we doing? Ten. We did yes. ten. Yeah. Let's go. You're not counting. One. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then you breathe out as you come up. Out. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Five. Good. <laughs> Six. Uh-huh. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
Du er Jule, hvad? Du er Jule. Nej, det er last one. Damn. Nej. Hej, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Ja, der er det. Another fundamental move is a lunge. So you can step back, kidogo. Then take a big step. You use hands just for balance. And you go. Yes, man. So that's one. Because you have two legs. Yeah. <laughs> Two. How many are we doing? Ten. Ten. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. Uh huh. Well, then you're not going to. Four. Hey. <laughs> okay. The bigger the step, the better. progress faster. So if you want to progress in a push up faster, you use like the edge of a sofa here where it's nice and firm. Mm. And then go down. Push. Mm. Okay. So with this one, you can progress much faster than the floor. Mm. Just Correct. keep your hips tight. So me cannot do in a song. Try that side and try this side. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, you go sour. All right. Uh -huh. So you take your chest towards the armrest and then back up. Okay. Ready, ready. Mukamba? Yeah. Let's go. Good. <laughs> Wait, how many are we doing? I'm only just ten. We're doing ten. Three. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Four. Oh, yeah. Come on. Move. 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 Little, uh, yeah, let's go. One, two, Good. three, four, five. <laughs> well done. So you can use either your armrest, ama kiti kaya dani table levi. Just back it up against the wall. Ama bed. Mm. The edge of the bed. Okay. So what you then? You need so many equipment. Ah, nice. You don't have to. Uh -huh. To get dance dance lakini. We are saving the best for last. Mm -hmm. So I want us to do a core exercise. Hapa ni kona cones. What was your name? What was your name? Paki Rukaju. And running through them between them. You can get this. It's less than... This costs I think a thousand shillings or two thousand. Really? Imagine. Ah. With this, go to a boretum. Oh. You guys have a workout. Just collect and let's see who will finish first mm. with each color. So where ukikosa kushinda dad? I'll be so sad. I'll be so sad. So I'll put for you five on one side. Mm -hmm. I won't check the color. Okay. And then we'll do a plank exercise. You take them to the other side. Kids, they said. Uh huh. Now you go. Fun. All right, boy, boy, guys. So how you start a plank? Number one, always start a plank from your knees like that. Okay. So shoulder directly above your palm. Keep above your knee, then extend one leg onto your toes, then extend the other. See my hips. So not to open the side. Hey, hey, three, four, five. Rudisha, one. Where? Hey, guys, I love you. So there's an assumption that the Martins on the table is a certain flat. A strong core is very important for your posture. Watch out, I'm going to be flat. See your story, I'm going to be flat. I'm going to be flat too. 
Mimi niko na watoto. <laughs> but inaweza kuwa flat. Yeah. But a strong core is very good for your back, your posture, especially during that time of the month. Hiyo kumo na mgongo you reduce. Mm-hmm. Uko ready? Okay. Yeah, we can. Are you ready? I think. <laughs> All right, remember extend your toes. Hivyo. And let's go. Nene na mamiza last. Koi. Wow, 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 mumbus. Unapeleka wapi? Done. Ah, no. You're not done. Okay, so let's go. Choose the channel. Oh, what the fair. Again, again, again. Nene na mamu sasa. I am. Ready? Wait. Set. Go. Going for it. Eh, Rudisha, 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 Rudisha. Eh. Hey. Wait. Yes. Well done. Good job. Hey. Okay. So you see those exercises you've done? Yeah. They're not many. Mm-hmm. So if you do that for two rounds, you and your mom on a Saturday, you're good. Can we continue with your day? What? Mad respect to Dani. I'm so sorry, I take my words back. You take your words back and she makes it look so hard. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's not as easy as you think. So the other thing you must remember, as I said earlier, you always stretch after a workout. Okay, so I'll teach you a few stretches you can do. I'm still starting a plank here. So these are mostly yoga. Lifted from yoga, go back into a dog. Hold that for five seconds. Make sure you breathe, don't hold your breath. Hi, Rudy. Left leg. Hey, left leg. Yo. Let him back up in the corner. Hey, man. Hold. All right, take it back. Go back up into a downward dog. Right leg. Oh yeah, Jesus, mama. Wait, 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 wait. Do you know? Jesus. Jose, I was there, 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 Head down. So I can't do the shine. See, see. We are struggling. All right, good. So stay on your knees. Clasp your hands. Stretch your upper body. Clasp people, and then take them out. Good. And then up. 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 Then let's go to the right side. Right, right side. <laughs> You're right in here. Then <laughs> just blow my yeah. for this one. The other side. <laughs> oh. And we are done. Yay! Hey. High five. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mumbu, you see, it's not as easy as you mm-hmm. think. But with practice, when it becomes a bit easier. Yeah. The more you do it, the better you become at it. We should just repeat this whole episode when I'm not on my period and when I didn't work out the day before. I'd love that. We just repeat. Yeah. I'd love that because you'll be able to see mm. the difference in energy levels. And that's a mm. thing that was ignored in our time. Yeah. Now people are researching it. There's an effect. Mm. Yeah. And it how do you yeah. um, customize your exercises mm. to your menstrual cycle, which is a very important part yeah. because it keeps you going. Mm. If you know this is your menstrual week, Take it easy, do a walk. Yeah. Um, even your nutrition also plays a part. Mm-hmm. Eat very nice, warm, hearty meals, soups, yeah. stews. Um, take your nutrients up. Dawa, this, are the, this is the week to take those things. Yeah. Next week, take it fresh. Mm-hmm. Very nutritious, high intensity. Because it will be nice and energetic week two and week three mm-hmm. before the week before your period again. Yeah. I'm glad you've pointed that out. That is not <laughs> knowledge I had when I was your age. <laughs> That's true. That's Did you know that? No. She didn't got number two when I'm a moods. Yeah. So you're, we used to be told we are very moody. Mm-hmm. 
me, I used to be told I'm rude and I have attitude. <laughs> but I'm now sure, based on what you've said and what I've read, yeah. that it was that time, it's just a cycle. So if you can master that at your age, yeah. man, by the time you're my age, you'll be so far ahead. Mm-hmm. That's true. So keep it up. You've showed us two exercises that we can do at home. Yes. Which other simple ones can we do without all those equipments? Yeah. So, yeah. So we have exercises you can do for different parts of the body, the push-ups. Mm-hmm. You can do the others that are called bridges. We have other mm-hmm. ab exercises. There's a challenge I, I showed you, which we will do yeah, for yes, abs. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. crunches, bicycle crunches. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of sit-ups because people do them wrongly. So I'd rather you do a plank. Before we started using the cones, just mm-hmm. stay there. We have, you can do a dip, a chair dip for your triceps. Mm-hmm. Um, you can even use that water bottle. It's a mm-hmm. fantastic weight. You can use it, you can lift it up like this for this part. Abu, look at your mom's shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh my God, you've gone in with a microscope. <laughs> So yeah. her shoulders are looking like that because she works out her mm-hmm. arms. Mm-hmm. That doesn't come naturally. Even this, yeah, sleeveless. Yeah, okay. Easy muscles. <laughs> you can lift. Ambia, kama kuna, anytime, unajipata kuna shopping, unaza beba. Carrying any shopping. Ama bags, mbili, equal weight. Lift them up like this. Those are called shrugs. Mm-hmm. They'll work this part. Okay. For arms, anything going out, or going front, or going up. So there are very many, we have a whole, and I've even seen on YouTube, we have people who specialize in workouts for teens, 30 minute workout, 20 minute, 15 minute mm-hmm. workouts. There are so many workouts that are done by teens for teens. Mm-hmm. So they are there. Yeah. Oh, okay. That is one of your favorite <laughs> places to be. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Another one. Yes. Wait, this one, I know I'm talking on for many baby. people, <laughs> many of my girl names, my, yes. my best days. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So up on skis a bizuri. Mm-hmm. Ne zonge za jihaga. <laughs> <laughs> like we don't yeah. go to the gym. <laughs> like we have so many exercises. Ni wapiti shambi likato. Yes, please. Bila sisi kuku kuzifanya. Ah, 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 is a muscle. Mm. What was it's just like a padding to go oh, go yeah. go yeah. No, it is a group of muscles. There are three. And you learn that in biology as you progress. Mm. We can grow it with exercise. Any resistance exercise. You are kwanza to mefanya squat. Mm-hmm. Then lunge. There's a lunge to find a A reverse lunge. Now this one you stand at the front. Uh-huh. A lunge going backwards grows the nyash. This kapat here. Okay. Better than the one for going front. Okay. You can do that? Yeah. You can do that for me? Just yeah. three on one leg. <laughs> okay. So we go back right. and then come back up. Right. Same leg. Three Same times. Leg. Okay. One to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Big step back. Yes. <laughs> Aya. Change legs. One. Well, I'm going to sink. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Three, good. I can show you two that you can do on the mat. Okay. Very easy. You don't need any weights. Okay? And they are very effective. There's one we call a fire hydrant. Out to the side like this. Mm. And you bring it back. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, so you take your right knee out. Right, okay. From yeah. your right. Yeah. Yeah. Turn good. One. <laughs> good. Two. Three. Change sides. That's called a hydrant. Uh-huh. Two, three. We also have another one called a donkey kick. Very effective. <laughs> have you seen Usha you wanna have yeah. a donkey or zebra? <laughs> Watch out, Kuchera. <laughs> it's called a donkey kick for a reason because that's how they kick. But if you have ever seen nyash of a donkey or a horse or mm. that's mm. why it's called a stallion booty. For <laughs> Here. So you point the foot up to the ceiling, yes. Okay. Let's mm-hmm. go. Two. Three. Change. One. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Switch <laughs> wing. <laughs> yeah. So there are so many variations you can add there. You can add circles like this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
There are so many variations. You can do this and combine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hydrant. Okay. And Hydrant. Kick. Mm. Circle. Okay. You won't get to five. <laughs> you probably call me and you're like, that exercise is too intense. <laughs> so it looks very harmless, yeah. but with that you can grow your nyash. Walking is another exercise for growing nyash. So the mm. more you walk, the better that nyash looks. Now we know. <laughs> now, we know. <laughs> now we can wrap the episode. Yes. yes go home. Can. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Steph. Thank you for having me. And that was, was it for today, man. It yeah. was so much fun. Yeah. So, so, as much uh, uh, so much fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> Show me. Oh, fun. So much fun. So much fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, guys, until next time.